from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer County Community College. This is HCTV 99 News, a student-produced newscast covering HCCC and the community it serves. Hello, I'm David Glantz and welcome to 99 News here on HCTV Channel 99. We're here every Thursday afternoon this semester at 5 o'clock with a full half-hour newscast produced by radio and television students enrolled at Herkimer County Community College. HCTV 99 News is a production of the advanced video production courses offered by HCCC. Herkimer County Community College's WVHC Radio is sponsoring a concert with legendary jazz performer Nancy Kelly. Nancy Kelly has earned many awards and enlisted fans from around the globe and abil the ability to quickly capture the emotions of her audience aren't the only thing that place her in a league of her own. Starting at the age of four in her hometown of Rochester, New York, Kelly studied piano, clarinet, drama, and dance with private instructors and voice at the Eastman School of Music. During her 30 plus year career, she has honed the trademark of the swing bop style in front of audiences across the US and abroad from Singapore to Switzerland, France and Turkey, to her three tours of Japan. She appears regularly in New York City, including performances at the Blue Note, Birdland, the Rainbow Room, and Lincoln Center. She works frequently in Los Angeles and Miami, as well as countless jazz clubs, festivals, and symphony orchestras, engagements across the country. Tickets will be $10 and can be purchased at the door. This event will take place on April 18th from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the RMCC Building Room, 288 and will be available to the public. The concert will be carried live on HCTV Channel 99 as well. The American Red Cross is having a blood drive and you can sign up for a donation at the Student Activities Office located in RMCC Building 220. Those who volunteer will be entered into a drawing for a chance to win a prize which you will be able to get in the Student Activities Room. The blood will be donated to survivors or patients that require it. This event will be held April 16th at 10.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Herkimer County Community College held an event hosted by the YWCA in the RMCC building teaching students about sexual harassment and some stories behind them and how they can affect someone's life. There were shirts displayed in the upper lobby made by victims themselves, each in specific color signifying a different way they were harassed. The YWCA We'll be hosting another event on the 25th at 8 p.m. on spreading the word about the dangers of harassment, assault, and racism at the Myers Park in Herkimer. YMCA also has a 24 hours a day, seven days a week, free confidential domestic violence and sexual violence hotline. If you or someone you know has suffered through this, you can call 315-866-4120 from the Herkimer County Hotline or 315-797-7740 for the Oneida County Hotline. Jason Davis and the New Philosophers will take the stage at 9 p.m. in the TV studio on the campus of Herkimer County Community College on Thursday, April 25th. Students enrolled in various media degree programs at HCCC will produce Play to the Camera live on HGTV Channel 99. Instructor of Radio Television Broadcasting Douglas Flanagan says that the program is truly a cooperative effort. Jason Davis is the instructor of music industry at HCCC and the crew will consist of students in various media degree programs including radio, television, broadcasting, music industry, digital filmmaking, and communication arts new media. Flagon says that Play to the Camera not only offers HCCC musicians a chance to perform on live television, but it also gives other media degree students experience in studio-based video production. Students will be operating the studio cameras, video switcher, graphics, and teleprompter and video boards and video service systems. A live studio audience is needed. Interested audience members will be part of a live telecast. Seating is limited and will be offered on a first come first served basis. Audience seating will be open at approximately 8.30 p.m. in TV studio in TC 109. HCCC is one of the only few New York State community colleges which offers student housing. Up next we have HCTV reporter Tanika Olsen with more about Herkimer's student housing. Tanika? 
Hi, I'm Tanika Austin for HCTV 99 News. Here at Herkimer -Herkim County Community College, the on-campus staff works hard to make sure the students are safe and satisfied. Well, we work to keep students uh, satisfied on campus by providing them with safe, clean, quiet, and comfortable, comfortable uh, facilities that are managed by well-trained um, professionals. So for example, uh, a pair of professionals and paraprofessionals. For, so for example, we have our RAs that interact with um, resident students on a daily basis, helping them navigate the institution and navigate how they interact with each other in their apartment. Um, we have uh, full-time facility staff that maintain our facilities. Um, and we have full-time professional staff, of course, that supervise the RAs and interact with individual residents um, to help them, again, navigate the institution. And uh, safety and security is critical um, to uh, our students' academic and personal success. Um, and we think a lot about safety and security so our residents don't have to. Uh, for example, um, we provide students with individual room keys that they, only they have access to their, their rooms and their apartments. Um, our our uh, residential facilities um, have uh, surveillance cameras uh, surrounding, uh, surrounding the areas. Um, we also have students, uh, staff that are on call nightly from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. and they're backed up by full-time professional master's level staff who are able to respond to emergencies. And then of course our campus safety um, are full-time uh, gun and badge carrying folks that, that uh, patrol our residential facilities and help ensure uh, the safety and security of our residents. For HCTV 99 News, I'm Tanika Austin. Back to you in the studio. There's more news straight ahead after this break during 99 News here on HCTV Channel 99. I'm David Glantz. Jacqueline Melillo will join us after the break. She's up next with your complete weather forecast. Stay with us. Look for Herkimer and the surrounding areas. Later, we'll hear your answers to our question of the week here on HCTV 99 News. Stay with us. Jump into the world of radio production and electronic media at Herkimer County Community College's 91.5 FM WVHC. When the semester kicks in, students take over the airwaves, turning their dreams and ideas into real live radio. Topping Herkimer County Community College news today with graduation soon approaching. Are you the next big voice? Find your home on the airwaves at Herkimer County Community College and WVHC. For more information, go to www.herkimer.edu. Herkimer County Community College is concerned with keeping our college and the world clean. Recycling is a big part of this process. Recycling is a collecting, processing, and reusing of materials that would otherwise be thrown away. The Green Club promotes recycling throughout the on-campus housing. They are also involved in the Adopt a Highway Foundation. Plus, if you join, you get to do fun things like planting trees throughout the campus. Join the Green Club today to help make your college a better place to live. Now, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas, here on HCTV 99 News.
Welcome back to 99 News here on HCTV Channel 99. I'm David Glantz. And I'm Jacqueline Melillo for HCTV 99 News Weather. So, Jackie, how's the weather look? Is spring finally here? Uh, I don't know. It's still in the cold areas. Still, still uh, it's rainy. It's mid-April. I know, I know, I know. <sighs> it's still rainy. Um, let's take a look let's at our look forecast. <laughs> Um, we do have some showers coming in still. It's not sunny yet. Um, there's a mix of snow and rain upstate, but it won't hit us. Um, it is currently 35 degrees out, according to weatherunderground.com. Tonight is an 80% chance of rain, unfortunately. Um, winds coming from the east at 15 to 25 miles per hour and a low of 36. Tomorrow, again, 80% chance of rain, um, a high of 46 and a low of 37. Saturday, 30% chance of rain, so maybe we'll see some sun, a high of 46 and a low of 34. Sunday, um, we're going to see some sun. Uh, the sun will come out with a high of 47 and a low of 40, uh, 35. Let's take a look at your extended outlook. Monday is going to be partly cloudy with a high of 64 and a low of 48. Tuesday, unfortunately, the rain will come back with a high of 62 and a low of 43. Wednesday, the sun will come out again with a high of 65 and a low of 48. Okay, thanks, Jackie, for that weather update. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, uh, you know, it doesn't look too bad, at least. There's no, some sun some possibly sun. coming, yeah. so that's <laughs> always good. Well, thanks again for that weather update. When we return, we will have a question of the week. When we return, Tanika Olsen is going to get you all caught up on the latest regarding her Regenerative Sports News. It's Sports Wrap, here on HCTV 99 News. Peaceful, calm, full of natural beauty, the Adirondack Park in upstate New York is the place for your outdoor adventures. Take a leisurely stroll as you browse the shops of scenic Old Forge. Take a dinner cruise along historic lakes. Boats depart at various times throughout the day from Old Forge Pond. Or head deep into the Adirondacks for a true wilderness experience. Set up at your own private campsite. Build a roaring fire. Take a relaxing canoe ride. Enjoy the natural splendor that's just up the road. The Adirondack Park where you can get away from it all without going too far away. Are you ready to go? Then go ahead and visit www.apa.state.ny.us for details regarding your next Adirondack adventure. Hi, I'm Tanika Austin and welcome to HCTV 99 News Sports Wrap. The Female Athlete of the Month is lacrosse player Arielle Montez. She is a general studies major from New Rochelle, New York. Coach Diana C. Marie said Arielle had nine goals, three assists, 23 ground balls, and 14 draw controls in three games. She is dominant when it comes to draw controls and ground balls. Arielle works hard at all times. She pushes herself for the good of the team in all games and practices, even while fighting injuries. She is an all-around player, making it easy to put her anywhere on the field with confidence. On April 6, 2013, the Herkimer Generals women lacrosse team suffered an 18-7 loss to their rivals, the Mohawk Valley Hawks. The loss to the Hawks dropped Herkimer's record to 0-5 on the season. Three of those losses coming from the rival Hawks. The team is scheduled to play Erie Community College on Saturday, April 13th at 1 p.m. Men's lacrosse had a game on Saturday, April 7th against Union County Community College. Broken 8-8 tie with 25 seconds left and defeated Herkimer County Community College by a score of 9-8 in men's lacrosse on Sunday afternoon in the Wareham Stadium in Herkimer, New York. With the loss, the Generals fall 4-4 overall on the season. Men's lacrosse has another game coming up this weekend. Niagara County Community College travels to Herkimer on Sunday, April 4th. This game will start at 12 p.m. On Sunday, April 7th, the Herkimer Generals men's tennis team played against Rome Community College Hornets. The Hornets took all nine men's tennis matches 
and beating Herkimer County Community College on Saturday afternoon. The Lords drops the, Hen the Generals record to 0-2 to two on the year. The team is scheduled to play Mohawk Valley Community College Monday, April 15th at 4 p.m. HCCC's softball team finally got to play their home opener on Tuesday afternoon. Two teams took the field, the 10-0 Brome Hornets and the 12-1 Herkimer Generals. The weather has not been good. The team went out and played anyway. The Generals posted two impressive victories. HCCC won the first game 9-1 and took the second contest 12-2, producing even more support of their ranking as the number one team in the Region 3. The team had their next game against Adirondack Community College on Saturday, April 13th at 1 o'clock p.m. Well, that's all the time we have for this week's Sports Wrap. I'm Tanika Austin. See you next time. Are you out of shape? Would you like to start a healthier lifestyle? Then come check out our state-of-the-art fitness facility here on the Herkimer County Community College campus. The fitness center is equipped with cardiovascular equipment, dumbbells, and life fitness circuit training machines. Take a few laps around the indoor track or come up to the Kristen Pool, which is open for various community programs throughout the year. For more information about the fitness center, go to herkimer.edu or call 866-0300, extension 8215. Apheresis, a Greek word meaning to take away. What if apheresis meant you could have uninterrupted time to watch TV or your favorite movie while saving lives at the same time? The Red Cross uses apheresis machines to save the lives of cancer patients. By separating your platelets, the Red Cross is able to get the blood to the people who need it. Contact your local Red Cross for more information. Make an appointment. Donate. Reschedule. Someone you love may just depend on it. Time now for the HCTV 99 News Question of the Week. It's your turn to express your thoughts on campus-wide issues. Hello and welcome back to 99 News here on HCTV. I'm David Glantz and thanks for joining us. Time now for our HCTV 99 News Question of the Week, where we come to the campus looking for your on-camera input. With finals on the horizon, we asked campus, uh, we asked students on campus what classes they were concerned about and why. This week we've got 99 News reporter Mark Baracco with your thoughts. Hi, I'm Mark Baracco for HCTV Channel 99 News, here for your question of the week. Uh, with final exams soon approaching, which finals are you most concerned about and why? Uh, I'm concerned about stats because I don't like math and I also need it to graduate. Uh, what types of things do you think will help you ace the final? Definitely doing the problem over and over again, but that's really all I can really do. Um, I'm more concerned about my final exam for my criminal justice procedure class because um, it's my major, criminal justice, and kind of, it's really a difficult class, to be honest. What final exam are you most concerned about? Um, probably trig, just because... Um, um, it's not too hard, but there is there's just a lot of information. Is it hard to study for a trig test? Um, somewhat, because there's so much and you don't know what it would be on, especially if it's including everything from the whole year. All right. Well, best, best of luck to you on the exam. All right. Thank you. That does it for our Question of the Week segment here on HCTV Channel 99 News. I'm Mark Baracco, and again, for more information regarding study habits, study techniques, and things that will help you ace the exam, check out the Academic Support Center or always step on by the library. That's it for now. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Mark, and be sure to tune in next week for another edition of HCTV 99 News Question of the Week. And don't be shy if you see our crew around campus Thursday afternoons looking for your opinion. Well, stay with us. Coming up after the break, Kelsey O'Connor talks to Justin Nogger, the director of Residence Life in the studio. That's straight ahead in our Newsmaker segment right here on HCTV 99 News. Stay with us.
Are you out of shape? Would you like to start a healthier lifestyle? Then come check out our state-of-the-art fitness facility here on the Herkimer County Community College campus. The fitness center is equipped with cardiovascular equipment, dumbbells, and life fitness circuit training machines. Take a few laps around the indoor track or come up to the Crispin Pool, which is open for various community programs throughout the year. For more information about the fitness center, go to herkimer.edu or call 866-0300, extension 8215. Apheresis, a Greek word meaning to take away. What if apheresis meant you could have uninterrupted time to watch TV or your favorite movie while saving lives at the same time? The Red Cross uses apheresis machines to save the lives of cancer patients. By separating your platelets, the Red Cross is able to get the blood to the people who need it. Contact your local Red Cross for more information. Make an appointment. Donate. Reschedule. Someone you love may just depend on it. Hello and welcome back to HCTV 99 News. I'm David Glantz and thanks for joining us. We're here each week at this time with a 30-minute newscast produced by HCCC Radio TV Broadcasting Majors. This live weekly newscast is a production of RT263, an advanced video production class offered here at Herkimer County Community College. Up next, Kelsey O'Connor has a special guest in our live newsmaker segment. Kelsey? Hi, I'm Kelsey O'Connor with HCTV 99 News Newsmaker segment. I have Justin Elger here today, Director of Residence Life. Hi, Justin. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Um, I want to talk about your new here at Herkimer. You came transferred to us from the University of Buffalo. How are you accepting Herc Life? I, uh, I love it, actually. I started, um, this is actually a homecoming for me. I grew up in rural uh, New York, about an hour and a half south of here, mm -hmm. uh, in Walton, New York, 13856. Um, and, and I've lived in Buffalo for the past 10 years, where I worked in college housing. And uh, I uh, studied uh, educational administration, finished my doctoral work, mm -hmm. um, and uh, made the transition here in, in late September. Oh, nice. Well, very big uh, downgrade from University of Buffalo, but it's a great place. <laughs> um, does, is there any plans for any upgrades for the apartments coming up? Sure. Uh, this summer, uh, we pl we're planning on um, um, renovating and updating, at least in the, in the works now, uh, renovating and updating uh, the bathrooms on mm -hmm. the back side of, of Campus Meadows. Um, and we're also looking to, uh, for the Campus Meadows and our College Hill residents, um, install brand new laundry uh, facilities and include laundry in the housing costs. Um, and one of the cool things that I think our students will really enjoy is we're, um, we're adding a, a software program called Laundry View where students are going to be able to go online or go on their uh, an app on their phone and check out if their uh, what their laundry looks like if the machines are available if their laundry is done. Sounds very convenient for all these college kids that need to do their laundry. Um, is there any other uh, tips that you'd give kids that are coming to uh, to apply for housing or anything? Well, for our returning students, um, currently in the selection uh, process, um, April fifteenth is the due date for our applications, mm -hmm. um, and then on. April 19th, um, we're going to um, we're going to send out notification to those students that have uh, decided to uh, fill out their housing contracts mm -hmm. and um, and live with us. Uh, information about our selection events. Okay. And then on April 23rd, um, we're going to have a returning selection returning room selection event for our four and four person rooms, and then on the 25th for our two and three person. Um, apartments. It's more first come first serve though. Absolutely. We're gonna have to toss to a break here but when we come back we'll answer some more questions about student housing and uh, see what he has to say.
wouldn't knowingly let your children intake poison. Would you? and we're back. Um, so Justin, before the break, you were saying about the tips. Um, you said that the applying date is April 15th and the, the attending students' events are uh, April 23rd, you said? Um, what are some other steps? And there's a contract that students have to fill out? Sure. Three easy steps for our returning students to apply for housing. Number one is to complete their housing contract, um, which is available online, herkimer.edu slash housing. I'm also available in our office and I emailed our current students as well. Um, th they need to uh, fill out the contract and, and uh, pay the $350 housing deposit. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, um, I'll invite them to our selection events. Um, our four person apartment selection event will be held in RMCC um, 288 mm -hmm. on the 23rd. Uh, and our uh, two and three person apartment uh, selection will be on the 25th in our MCC uh, 288 as well. All right, do they get back to you on email on that or just uh, show up, you don't have to sign up or anything? Or? Yeah, what'll happen is um, as soon as I notify students that they're, they're eligible for the, the selection process, we're gonna send out uh, the housing assignment process guide booklet. <laughs> um, and this is where students will go ahead and, and, and find each other and find the, the folks that they wanna live with for the next academic year. Mm -hmm. um, we do have, um, our, uh, the selection process is based on seniority and uh, personal choice. So our students that have lived with us the longest will, will have the opportunity to select their rooms um, first. But the, but the goal for us is to fill um, entire apartments. So we wanna make sure that we get our students finding each other, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's in person, but getting them together so they can select their accommodations for the next academic year. It sounds like a great event to get our roommates to know each other and everything. It sounds great. Um, I want to thank you again for coming to see us. And uh, if you have any questions, you can see go down to the Campus Meadows office and go down to the housing there to see them. Thank you again for coming to see us. Absolutely. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, and thanks, Kelsey. And thank you for joining us. That's HCTV 99 News for tonight. Just a reminder for you, uh, you can catch us, HCTV 99 News, every Thursday afternoon at 5 o'clock throughout the semester. You can also catch Encore presentations five day at Fridays at 5 at well. We also have a feature, a live 15-minute newscast Tuesday afternoons at 1 o'clock. Newscasts are also archived on our YouTube channel, and you can find us on Facebook, too. For everyone here in the radio and TV broadcasting major here at Herkimer County Community College, I'm David Glantz. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.